going on everyone? So today I'm actually gonna show y'all a little thing that uh, with the Mizuno putter here that I absolutely love. Uh, some strong words here. This may actually be the best putter I've ever hit in my life. Now granted, my entire life going back to junior golf, I've probably only had a total of four or five putters. Um, but I'm so used to an inserted face uh, for the past two putters I've had. Uh, one from TaylorMade, and then the previous two putters were ping, but one of them did have an inserted face. The other ones were just, uh, you know, your standard flat face. This is the first ever mill grind face that I've ever played. And uh, I'll show y'all a picture here of what it looks like. It's, I mean, it's beautiful for one. Um, and this is forged carbon steel, um, just like a lot of stuff that Mizuno does. And it's beautiful blue. But what's really impressed me so far with this is the miss hits. Whether I hit it off the heel or the toe, which I'll show y'all in a minute, the ball still gets a good roll on it. It may not be perfect end over end on every hit, but you still get a distance and consistency off of it. A lot of the putters that have an insert, if you happen to miss the insert, the ball would score it off right or left, um, depending on how your club face was. But if you have a square face at impact with this on the heel, uh, sorry, heel or toe, the ball pretty much still rolls the same as if you hit it in the middle. I have noticed um, a few of my bad strokes with the face being open. If I hit it off the toe or heel, um, it, it'll kind of, gear effect will correct it off the toe and the heel will, will just kind of hit it straight. And the opposite, if it's slightly closed, It'll just kind of go straight off the toe and a little gear effect will kind of make the ball go back to the right off the heel. Uh, so it's kind of cool. But uh, this putter, I mean, I absolutely love the colors. Um, you know, OMOI, this is, uh, I forget what color blue they call it, but it's just gorgeous. This black shaft, the grip. I've always been one to go with standard putters my entire life. Never been one that, oh, gotta get the loft and lie check. It's always, it's me, how I putt, not anything to do with the equipment. Um, however, I, I may uh, dip into that one day, but right now, this as standard, I believe I got it at uh, 35 inches long, uh, blue color. It's, uh, I wanna say 0 0.5 degrees of loft and a lie angle of three degrees. No, three degrees of loft, I'm sorry, and a lie angle of 13 degrees maybe. I'll, I'll double check that. Uh, and put a link to the website in there, but uh, so let's I'm gonna show you a few putts here. Um, I'll, I'll loop in some video from out on the golf courses, but this is the test here that I want to show y'all is hitting a few off the toe on the heel and the consistent roll you get. Alright, so in conclusion, uh, you can obviously see why I love it. Not only that, it, it's, it's got a good balanced weight to it. Um, you know, it's not toe heavy or heel heavy. Uh, so, it, you know, it balances it in your hands pretty good. And if I could find that one spot. So, it's, it's really good, but uh, as you can see, you know, from the, the shots I just hit, heel or toe, uh, you're still going to be pretty close to the hole. I mean, nothing uh, will make up for a bad stroke. You, you do want to try and put the best stroke possible on every shot. However, we're not perfect on everything. If we were, we'd all be on tour or there'd be no tour uh, because we'd all be that good. 
there'd be no no use for professional golf if we could but um it's definitely one of those especially for the you know mid to higher handicaps that are struggling with putting if you're looking for a putter that can kind of offset those miss hits to give you more consistency not that you're going to make putts but more so that you're going to put it closer to the hole that uh you have a better chance of making that second putt instead of you know a lot of putters, you hit it off the toe and it comes up four feet short, same off the heel, or it changes the, the rotation of the ball. But I absolutely love it. I'd highly recommend anybody get this Mizuno putter. Again, it's probably the best putter I've ever, ever hit um, or tested. I've looked at Scotty Cameron, you know, all the top brands. And, and those are great, don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking any, any group, but uh, for me personally, the feel, the look, uh, definitely the field impact, the sound, everything. Uh, I may never switch from Mizuno Putter ever again. So, until next time, thanks for watching.